Pre-production prototype. It represents the design direction we fully intend to take forward into production. So that screen is fully production, pre-production ready? Yep, this is a 15-inch uh, landscape mode screen. The one in the Model S and X that you've seen is, is a 17-inch, but it's portrait. Right. And by having it landscape, one of the things we can do is put information right in your peripheral vision here and actually eliminate the um, separate screen that would sit in front of you here. And it gives you this really nice unobstructed view straight out the front of the car. And it also allows us to, in a pretty innovative way, manage the airflow out of that slot okay. through the car. So we're sitting quite a ways forward, as um, Elon described. And you are in the back seat, actually sitting fairly far rearward because there's no structure behind your head. So you can see all the room around your head based on having just that single pane of glass. <laughs> so it's, it's a really neat experience back there, but it's also very, very functional because we get a lot of room out of that. Tesla DNA that we're really trying to preserve and what people love so much about the Model S car is the instant torque that you can feel. The really super low center of gravity that allows the car to just corner really flat and then late. Beautiful design, the uh, incredible user interface and the safety that you know, I've talked about. Would this be considered the base model car? Like from a power perspective? The car we're driving has um, dual motors, so it would, that would be an optional setup. So dual motors optional? Yes, the, the base car will be rear wheel drive, but as Elon said, it'll still be a really quick car at under 6 seconds, 0 to 60. Right. And I've driven the rear wheel drive cars, they're, um, they feel great. I mean, the car feels just so nimble and fun to drive. Uh, it's awesome. I can't wait. Yeah, let's use myself. This dual motor moved out in a hurry. 